hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to make it like more informative than just like a vlog and all so in this video I'm going to show like how to apply uh, UK via e-visa so recently as we all know that uh, our BRP is going to expire on the end of this year which is like uh, December 31 2024 and after that like everything is going to be like electronic so we don't need a BRP like the physical documents at all so that's why like uh, now everyone who is living in UK and visa is going to expire in the end of this year we need to apply for a e visa so in this video I'm going to show you all that how can we apply e visa in UK so first of all we can just open our safari google or whatever is easy for you and after that we need to search for ukvi e visa so there is two of them so we can get this one get access to your e visa and after that we can go below and here you can see like what are the documents you need before you start uh, for this process so you as it mentioned here you need an email address and a phone number and you have to access to a smartphone and you need a valid BRP or a valid passport either of them is fine so it is easy to do with your BRP actually so I have done with my BRP so I'll just show you how to do it so let's enter start after that you can see here have you ever had a biometric resident permit so if you have you can just write yes after that you can go to the next step so here you can see that do you still have your biometric resident permit BRP card and it is mentioned here that this includes an expired BRP so this is like the expired BRP which you had before so if I have an expired BRP I can just say yes if I don't have I can just say no I have a expired BRP from the last one so I'll just press yes then I'll just to continue in the next step you can see here is your biometric resident permit BRP valid if it's valid you can say just yes if no you can just say no it's expired less than a year ago or no it expired before a year ago so my BRP hasn't expired yet so I'll just write yes so I'll just to continue so create UK visa and immigration account so there are like few things which you need to keep in your mind so for this one you need to just create an account let's create an account so from the year so you can see here who are you creating this account for if someone is someone else is creating for you you can just write someone else if you are creating for yourself you can just write me and you can just do continue so here you can just write your name your first name I'll just write usual and your surname you can just write your surname over here and after that you can just do continue so I'm from Nepal so I'll just write Nepal here Nepal continue so here you will have an option like either you can use your BRP or either you can use your passport so for me it's more easy to use my BRP so I'll just click on BRP and I'll just do continue so in the BRP in the left hand side you can see this thing in BRP so you just need this one because this is a chip so you need to scan this chip from your phone from UK UKVI immigration app so there is one app called UKVI immigration so from that app you can scan the chip and you can go go to the further uh, like further steps so you need to just like um, confirm your identity verify your identity in it so it's like that so over here it's like a BRP resident permit so it will be in the right hand side top corner now you can see in your BRP so I'll just write my BRP here BRP number so it's and from here you can just write your expiry date my expiry date is end of this year so I'll just write this one 2024 I'll do continue so after that you need to write your date of birth here so let's write my date of birth so after that you can just to continue so from here you can again choose what identity documents you use when you created your account 
so i use my brp so i'll just write brp i'll just do continue and again this is what i was talking about so this is the number you can see in the brp so it's in the top right hand side corner over here so you can just write what is in your so my one i'll just write here So after I uh, click in my numbers, I'll just do continue, put your data path. So again, after putting your data path, you just need to do continue and you will get a security code. So you can either choose your email address or your phone number to get a security code. So I'll just choose my phone. It is easy for me. So let's wait for the code. So after entering the code, you just do continue again. So here you can see uh, a link to your e-visa to your account. Found unique reference number, blah, 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 submitted. So this is my one, my last one. I have already submitted that. Over here, I have already completed. So it's showing like a uh, link to your e-visa to your account. What is this? Let me check. So this is the one. So once you open this one, uh you don't see this one actually so you just see like one just you can just see like a start something like that in one okay over here i have already submitted that one on 31 july 2024 so here i can see two of these but if you haven't if you haven't completed this one so you will just see one of um, one of them over here so after that you can just do continue so after that you see something like this so over here you won't see this thing because this thing is here because i have already done this before so after that it's the same thing like this pop in your screen as well so after that you just need to confirm your identity so to confirm your identity again you can see here you need to confirm your identity using the uk immigration id check app so this is the app i was talking about previously so in this app once you do continue it will take to your phone like in that app automatically if you have in your phone so do you have access to one of this phone so if you write s or no you can just need to write s if you do s so it will take you in the phone so you just get uh, connect connect the app to your account so you just need to connect the app to your account and after that uh, once you follow the step in the app you just need to do like uh, put your details like date of birth and your your name your like brp numbers and all in that and after that you need to scan your face and you need to take one picture for the e-visa and after that again once it's done in your app uh, it will be verified so after that you can go to the next process in my previous one so if you go to the next process so it will be like this are you in the uk now so if you are in the UK, you can just write yes, yeah, I'm in the UK. So it will be complete as well. So confirm, confirm your identity. So once you finish that in the app, it will get complete as well. So just to let you know that uh, if you have an iPhone, it's quite tricky to scan the chip uh, from your BRP. So what I did is like I just flipped the BRP uh, in the back page where, is it, where you can see your date of birth and all. And right over there on the right side you can just see a small picture of yourself and you can see a date on it as well so that place is right behind your chip so you can scan that place as well so I tried to scan this chip uh, through my phone from the back camera and it was not working so what I did is like I just flipped the BRP uh, to the side where is your date of birth and I just scanned that from my uh, front camera from my front camera of my phone yeah so yeah so once once you do that this uh, confirm your identity process will be complete after that the location you can just write like are you in the uk or no and after that you, once it's completed you can go to the next process again over here is uh, like it's showing it's already completed because i have already done it but in your uh, you might not see this complete uh, completed uh, sign in your screen so after that you can just go and do contact preference and you can just put your email address your phone number in it 
so next question will be account security question so in this one like you can just put your name like your father name your mother name so there will be like three security question and there are like some list of question and you can choose either of them so you can remember that uh, if in case in the future you like you forgot your password or you don't have your phone for the recovery and you don't have an email address for the recovery of your passport for those things you need the security questions so after that you just need to do a declaration that i have done this and all and you just need to submit and after that your process will be complete and you'll get an email that saying that uh, you have complete uh, you have like submitted this e-visa and after like few minutes um, you will get that your e-visa has been approved and your visa is still this 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 date so you can see that in your another um, another email so this is it i hope this video will help you to apply your e-visa thank you so much and have a good day